You are about to enter a great adventure. This is Starting from Gorilla. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Strutting from Gorilla. I'm Mikey Cash. With me is Big Vito. And our special guest today is Mike Sarge Riley. He is back with us, folks. We're really excited to have him here. We're very thankful that, you know, schedules get busy for all of us. So we're really glad that he's here. Uh, Mike, welcome. Welcome back to the show. Uh, but before we really get into things today, because we got a big episode, we're previewing WrestleMania 40 from Lincoln Financial Field down in Philadelphia, April 6th and 7th. You can watch it on Peacock. Uh, let's throw it over to Big Vito for a second, because he has an announcement for a new member of the podcast. Vito, what is this about? Yeah, new member of the podcast. Uh, she's sitting here right on my shoulder. Uh, she's gold <laughs> glory here. It's the most electrifying belt uh in podcast history you can see it's our strutting from gorilla podcast belt very excited about it um you know you'll see us wearing it around uh and uh we're gonna wear it proudly so just want to make sure she got the ju due justice she deserved that's all that's all of course so it's going to be like the 24 7 championship it's not going to really Dude, matter all of us are going to hold it yeah and if you want to challenge me for the belt bring it on you know just okay I just put my water down. I'm ready to go. <laughs> is there a name for it yet? Uh, SFG belt. I mean, we're not oh, going you guys crazy are here. here. Yeah, okay. we're we're yeah. you know we're okay. really we're not we're not going crazy here. No no crazy names. Just the SFG belt. That's all. Okay. All right. I, yeah. I I'm okay with that. I like that. Yeah. Love it. That's awesome. I you know what? But there is there should be the. Uh, 24 7 rule where if somebody wants to take yeah. you down for the title you have to defend it that's the only way they're going to beat me sarge oh wow wow i love it okay Vito talking right. trash i love it you're coming in hot how many cups of coffee you have already this morning uh you know don't worry about it <laughs> or a monster <laughs> well we're really excited to have you guys here with us uh sarge welcome back to the show Guys, thank you so much, and uh, appreciate you bringing me uh, as an adopted member of your family, guys. Third man in to quote uh, a uh, buddy of mine, former referee, Mike Kyoto. Third man is the name of his podcast. But uh, great to be here, guys. And uh, you know what? It's a great week. It's WrestleMania, and uh, I am pumped for Mania. You guys excited or what? Oh, so excited. Cannot wait for this. I, I know Vito has some problems with the match layout, but we can get to that later. But... I, really? I, I'm personally excited about it. What about you? I can't wait. Two nights. I mean, we're looking uh, the the double main event here. Saturday night, you got The Rock. You got mm -hmm. uh, Roman, Cody, and Seth Rollins right there. All, a lot of other championships. The Becky Lynch, Rhea Ripley one. I know you're excited for the Becky Lynch one, Cash. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. And then... You know, Drew McIntyre, um, you know, I, I think we're going to see something with CM Punk in there. There's so much action here, WrestleMania, but it should be a good, good weekend in Philadelphia. Yeah, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but are, aren't you going to be in attendance for this show of shows? I thought I'd be able to get you guys to go too, but yes, I will be <laughs> there. I'm very excited, very excited. I can't wait. Um Maybe next year, it sounds like Minneapolis next year, just saying. But uh, very excited uh, for Philadelphia and uh, leaving Friday morning. So it should be good. Wow, that's going to be amazing. I, I know v Vito's been texting me about it. So I, I know he was making some last-ditch efforts to see if we can get it to go. But uh, I don't, I don't think I'll do be it? able to do it. I, I, you got to talk to Vito. I don't, I don't know if I can swing it. But I think, <laughs> right, I, well. I, think Vito's, I think Vito's feeling pretty froggy right now. Yeah, I might make us a... I might make a surprise entrance, Sarge. We'll see. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, for people that don't know where we're located here, we're in Boston. And it, the way I look at it, it's a drivable WrestleMania. You can drive right down 95. And sure, it's about five and a half hours. But it's it's better than hopping on a plane, going through security, potentially all that stuff. You have your own transportation. That's the, only, that's the best way I can look at it, Eric. 
Well, if only you gave me this argument a couple of months ago. Okay. <laughs> and maybe I could have done this. So. Life's too short. Come on. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, uh, all right. So attendance aside, we're looking forward to this show. Mike, yes. I know that that your time is is uh, short with us today. So I want to I wanna just dive in for you. What is this? What have you thought of the build so far to WrestleMania? I feel like there's been uh, some stories are getting a lot more time than others, but I feel like overall, some people online at least are saying that they're pretty happy with it. What do you think? Yeah, I I think it's been pretty good. Um, you know, I think the at the beginning of it where we had um, the Cody situation where he, I guess you could say, gave up his WrestleMania uh, spot to The Rock. A little confusion, like, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? And then, of course, WWE uh, did listen to the fans, finally, and they knew that it would backfire, so you had to put Cody in there. So I think that's been the best thing, best situation here. It, it just, all indications, I mean, you look at it where we're a year ago now with um, Cody and Roman Reigns finish the story. I, I just still at that time, I go back to it where I didn't see Roman losing. I think they really wanted to get him to a thousand days, which it's happened. We, we, he's here. But now, fast forward a year later, where I, you know, I, I think that Roman may have one foot out the door, uh, whether that be for acting Hollywood or I don't know this for a fact, but health reasons. You know, I think that's a situation as well. Um, to consider, but I think that you're looking at the build here with Cody to try to go back and finish it and to insert the rock there where he has been part of that show. And it's almost like the rock from 2003 again, where, you know, it, it reminds me of the rock going up against Stone Cold Steve Austin, Mania 19, total heel, absolutely hated by everyone before he went to Hollywood. So some parallels right there with rock and Roman on that sense. But I think that they're doing the best they can. And the fact that you do have the rock right there, uh, that just makes – that sweetens the deal big time. So it's been a good build. Um, obviously, CM Punk, I think he was the favorite to be in the championship. But um, that's not the case here. But, you know, Cody and Roman, I think that's, that will close night two. And I think you're going to see a new champion Sunday night. Yeah, I, I – I, I also think the build has been fantastic. The only the only thing I'll say, because I, I you know I, I always like to play my devil advocate here, right? Is I don't know that this story with Roman and Cody needed the rock. Like I personally yeah. felt when we were going into this that that story in itself was such a big build, and I almost feel like you brought in the rock and i'm sure it's brought more eyeballs it's been exciting but i just don't know that they needed it and i think it's interesting to see that now they're going to be have two main events that are basically the same people right and you have the rock i obviously think that's a big draw um i just don't know that they needed it um and I, i'm still excited about it don't get me wrong i'm not taking anything away from it um i was just really excited for the first time in a long time the WWE had done a really great job of building organically people and this match that people were looking forward to. And it's almost like Roman Reigns has taken a back seat to the rock, which is kind yeah. of strange to me. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm still just as excited. I mean, you can see that the rock is really building that heel character and really making uh, Cody Rhodes shine. Right. Uh, but Again, that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm still really, really excited. I think the build to this WrestleMania has been fantastic. Um, and and we'll see if The Rock can still go, man. Like, we'll see if he can still go. You know, I, I think, one, I, I kind of quasi-agree with you in some respects. I agree with you wow. about... I, I know, I know. Stop the press. <laughs> uh, I, I do believe that, yeah, Ro uh, Roman has sort of taken a backseat to The Rock. And... Even in the way Rock describes himself now as the final boss, that name in itself speaks volumes. It's the tribal yep. chief and the final boss. Well, which one's which one's at the head of the table, really? It would be the final boss, wouldn't it? Like if you're well, just kind of yeah. using the names, uh, the monikers there, that that already kind of implies that Rock sees himself as above Roman. So well, and and yeah, and to your point there too, Mike. Um, you know, yeah, yeah. You, you go back to um, New Year's Day, Monday Night Raw where The Rock, you know, head of the table, 
know, did have the teaser right there. Uh, tremendous reaction. And then, of course, a month later, he's named as a member of the board of directors. And if, yeah, he is the final boss. You're right. And I think the grand scheme of it, yes, it was supposed to be The Rock and Roman for the championship to close out night two of Mania. But, um, you know, there's just so much backlash from the fans where WWE did listen and they knew they had to get this. They had to get uh, Cody and Roman and yeah, Roman for the title. Now, I'm not saying that The Rock is not going to be the champion. Um, I, I think that there is a good chance The Rock could be WWE Universal Undisputed Champion in the next few weeks if, if Cody wow. Rhodes is to win. I think that's his first real challenge right there. Yeah, wow. I think that's the, the, all indications there. With that would be so there, there's Ooh. he's back on the board of directors. Oof. Yeah, the Rockers on the board. He's he's the boss. He calls the shots. I like that's, that, huh? Uh, uh, that's something. I mean, it certainly says uh, just how much they think of the story. <laughs> Cody finishes his story, and then a couple weeks well, later, see you later, getting the Foley treatment. Well, yeah, but you know what? The thing is that like. He needs that though. You need that mm -hmm. challenge, sure. To, because otherwise, I look at you know, like look look at Daniel Bryan ten years ago. He mm -hmm. wins. Uh, he beats Batista, Randy Orton, and um, in Triple, Triple H. H. Right? Yeah. And then the month later, he he, he defends it against Kane. Like what? right? Yeah. You know. But it's so. Done. Yeah, and I love Kane, but I'm I'm sorry, it's not <laughs> the Kane from yeah. 1998. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just <laughs> it exactly. is what it is. Um, so I think you need to, yeah, it's just not a, it's a totally different animal. So you need that challenge and, uh, it, and the rock is just so, uh, he's a major heel right now and it's great. It's huge. Mm -hmm. So you get to ride that hot hand. So I think that could be a first challenge here for Cody. Let me, let me ask you guys this question real quick. Sorry, Mikey. Let me just, because I think this is while we're on this subject. The one thing I've noticed, and that has been fantastic since The Rock has come back, and I don't know if you watched, not Raw last night, but the week before, it was one of the best Raws oh, yeah. in, in a decade, maybe even two decades. And what I what I loved about it was you got that attitude feel again, right? And I, I was reading up on it, and a lot of it was unscripted, right? If you look at the, the CM Punk, um, Drew McIntyre, and Seth promo, you could see right then and there, it was just, you had a, such a different feel and yep. it felt great. And then you ended with probably one of the best raw endings in a long, long time with the rock coming out. He was swearing and, you know, I think you say it all the time, Mikey, he, he was diving right in. Like he, he is in full force, um, heel mode and it was great. And then they even showed a clip after raw when it went off the air, um, uh, of of the rock and he was still going right um and it's just you haven't seen something like that in a while they use blood like i i think people have been clamoring for this for quite some time i think we're finally getting bits and pieces of it and and it's it's exciting to see well Vito, on that remark you know uh, i'm gonna put a picture up in a second because this is what for folks that maybe didn't see raw last week which i don't know how you didn't but if you didn't this is the closing shot look at that picture it speaks volumes about okay. what, what, how this build has been going. And for me, it, uh, I'm, I'm with both of you guys that this main event itself has had a really great build. I think that this, this iteration of The Rock has been quite possibly the best I've ever seen. I think, it's, I, I think in some ways it's even different than the 2003, that Hollywood Rock. This guy's way more vicious. He's got a little bit of oh, that yeah. 98, 99 heel rock in there where he's going to beat the hell out of you. And I think there's just something that was just so great about that whole beatdown, the way it like elicited the emotion from the crowd and people were, or, you know, I, I watched Raw a little bit this morning and people, he, they were posting clips on from TikTok that were reactions to the beatdown and kids are crying and people are upset about it. <laughs> but I think it's great because he's tapping into something and it's getting people to really care about the story. And I, I just really think that that Rock is just operating on such a high level that, you know, Mike, like he said, maybe he is the next challenger for the title when this is all said and done. Because where do you go after working Rock and Roman at Mania? Like, who who else is in that line, right? Well, yeah. 
that that's the thing. I, I look at where, um, yeah, who's next in line, and it makes perfect sense. He's the top heel. You have your top heel against your top baby face right there. Mm-hmm. So, but you gotta you gotta be Roman though, and that's why I'm not. Yes, I do think Cody's gonna win, but. Good Lord, we've seen so many cheap ways Reigns has mm-hmm. won. Who's to say he's not going to do it again? And um, I just, it's just all indication. Oh, yeah. So one question Sorry. for you. Do you think Roman and Rock win on night one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I so think they win yes. on night one. I feel like that's yeah. unanimous. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. the rules. They're yeah. going to win on night one, and they're going to stack the deck against Cody even more. Yeah. And I think... You know, I think personally, if you watched Raw, you saw the shot of Cena and Austin, right? And I guarantee you, somehow yep. they're going to be involved, yeah. and Cody wins the belt on night two. So they yeah. have it from strutting from Gorilla. Boom! I, 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 I'm with you. <laughs> that, I don't think, I, I don't I think Seth is going to be involved in that because I think he's got his he's got to have his, his attentions with Drew. So I think after that, after they have their match on night two, Seth's going to be kind of out of the picture. So I think you're going to need a couple more. Couple more bodies in there, and who better than Cena and Austin, Rock's biggest yeah. rivals, to yeah. uh, to help well, Cody? And, th- and that was, yeah, and that was not done on purpose. That, like you said, that that truck right there, Austin and Cena both on the same truck. That truck is not <laughs> used in production anymore. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, there's a good tease. It was great. It was a great tease. So read through the lines. There's a lot right there, and I, I love that. That was really really good. Yeah, I'm uh, excited you, to see how it pans out big time. Big time. Right? But yeah. all right. So, oh, sorry, Peter. Go ahead. I was gonna say, all right, I know we're we're short on time here. I wanted to make sure we talk about some of the other events going on. One of the things that I'm I'm slightly disappointed about and uh is uh you know, if you're gonna have the Royal Rumble, and we've talked about this before, I truly believe that if you win the Royal Rumble, you should be main eventing one of the nights of WrestleMania. And uh, you know, the the women's title match um with uh eo sky and uh bailey i feel like and you know you corrected me because i guess they've had a really good build on on smackdown but i i hope that either they open one of the nights or at least they're not going to close it because you have both main events set and i it just bothers me a little bit it's like why have the royal rumble if if it's not going to mean the same thing like that's all but i i am excited for that women's yeah um yeah, no, I hear you. I think, um, yeah, p- what's the point of the Royal Rumble? You're kind of defeating the purpose of it there, especially for the way it was built up uh, three years after its advent. Um, you know, 93 was the first time that the Royal Rumble winner got a title shot there. Um, but it has been a good build up there, though. And then the former relationship with Damage Control. Uh, Bailey's just so over right now, guys. She is. I think you got to ride that hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and not that she never has been, but she's just really over. And and you got to ride that hot hand, I think. And that's an easy solution to have her become uh, the the next champion on that front right there. So uh, give me Bailey on that one. I'll take Bailey too. I, I think we're going to be a clean sweep here with Bailey. Uh, I I think that now with that if bailey wins this i think it really opens the door for her to continue fighting with damage damage control because i don't think it's over after wrestlemania i think this thing with eo will continue i think they've done a really good job of positioning dakota kai in a really good spot she's starting to sort of be seen as the the leader of damage control i was just watching a little bit of raw again and i i think they're really purposely putting her in a position where she can shine she's always been good i think the booking for her hasn't always been great. Add the injuries on top of that. I think Bailey is looking to build stars for tomorrow. And yep. I think this is part of that. And you think you're kind of seeing it. And Triple H is clearly on board. So I, I think this will be, I think it should be a good a good show, uh, a good match. I think that with, like you, Vito, that, yeah, she deserved to have a main event spot. She deserved to have one. Or at and, least and open I, up. We, we almost sound like CM Punk, right? We're like, I can't believe these part timers <laughs> yeah, are coming yeah. in. And yeah. they're taking spots of people that are working hard. But yeah. here we are. Here Again, we are. This little it's pipe bomb. Be a good show. Yeah, yeah this little <laughs> pipe bomb. Um, what, what, what match are you guys most looking forward to outside of that, that, those two main events? I can tell you for me personally, I'm really excited about the AJ Styles and um, LA Knight match. I think are, the build is Are you being serious great. or sarcastic? 
I'm being serious. I'm You're being the dead first serious. person I've ever heard. That's incredible. I mean, listen, I love them both, but I'm sorry. I didn't interrupt you, but I, I thought you were being no. sarcastic for a second. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this is my bold prediction. They're going to end up stealing the show. Yeah. And, and I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of LA Knight's in work ability, but you got AJ Styles on there. Who's kind of like the Shawn Michaels of this generation. And I think he's going to make him shine. And I think the build has been great. Yep. It's very Austin esque with him getting arrested and, do, and this whole thing, but I think it's been pretty good. And and listen, as much you can say what you want about LA Knight and AJ Styles, but LA Knight has got he's got he's got the crowd behind him, man. He's been popular. I mean, I think he he was more on the trending downside, but I, listen, I'm telling you, he still gets a pop. He does. He really does. And and he's just so over right now too. Um, I think he was he was at his peak in the fall, right after we talked to him. So the Stratton from Gorilla fist bump right there, boom! There you go, guys. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, so I think he's really um, had a, a good banner year for himself, rejuvenating his career. And I'm happy for him. I really am. Um, I'm just gonna like, with all due respect, though, Vito. I'm like, that's probably the <laughs> one match on the card. I'm like, yeah, whatever. But I'll, I'll, I'm going to root for LA Knight. I love AJ Styles too, but I want LA Knight too. I'm with you, bud. All right. Well, what what are you looking forward to? What what's what what match are you looking forward to outside of those? Give me uh, Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley. Ah, uh, that's a good one too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you probably stole cashes, but that's okay. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, no fire. I mean, I just look at it where a year ago that uh, Rhea Ripley. I know Cash loves uh, his girl uh, Becky. I forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just look at it where a year ago, um, you know, Rhea Ripley had a. I, I thought match of the year WrestleMania 39 um, yeah. with Charlotte. And she, again, just so over um, with the um, Judgment Day. And I, I just really think. Oh, well, that's, that's all. That's all the time Sarge has today, folks. I don't know. I we, think, we lost them here I, for a minute here. We lost. Them. I think I think the final boss might have got him. I think Rock got a whole boss kicked him right out. Kicked him right, kicked right him out. Right out. <laughs> yeah, he said, see you later. <laughs> see but you later. on with that. I know you probably have a lot of thoughts on um, on uh, Becky yeah. and, and Rio. Well, well, I will say that he did, in fact, steal my the match that I, was I, I knew it. Forward to. I knew it, it was really it was between Becky Lynch and Rhea and Bailey and Io. But I feel like we were already talking about that. So. Well, let's, hey, listen, we got we got Sarge here he back. Is. He's back. Let's He's bring back. him right back in. Let's bring him. That's all right. I, we, in, get to, we sold. I'm we, in the Mikey catacombs Cash of the building. It. Yeah, Mikey Cash said it best. The final boss got you, man. Yeah, he's, he was in the production <laughs> truck. He was like, get this guy out of here. Yeah. All right. See you later. I love it. I love it. That's uh, great. Well, no, I, continue I your thoughts, though. No, yeah. I just look at it where, you know, she had a great match there. She's so over that I I could see her getting out of Judgment Day and just going solo on her own. And I think that was one of the best things that ever happened to Becky Lynch was to get rid of that stupid uh, – uh, what was she doing when she was uh, – Big time I hated – yeah, big time. I hated that. It was just <laughs> not – you know, it's – now, good for her. She can do both. Um, and that's a really big quality to be a heel and a face. I didn't like big time backs. I think she's a much better draw – as a face but Mm -hmm. in this situation here i I think everybody is all for rhea ripley and you're gonna probably look at philadelphia uh being i'm gonna say 80 20 rhea ripley maybe even 90 10 and whether wwe yeah she's just mommy it's unbelievable and whether wwe wants becky to win you can't do it right now you gotta continue that momentum with rhea ripley mike i'm gonna tell you right now those are two of my favorite female wrestlers of all time. So this is a dream wow. match for me. And wow. um, Becky Lynch is like top five for me. Rhea Ripley is right up there, top 10 all time. So I'm gonna, this is a dream match for me. I don't care who wins, but I think it's going to be Rhea Ripley. Love that. I think if it was going to happen in front of any crowd, having it be in front of a Philadelphia crowd is going to be fantastic. I think, like oh, you yeah. said, it's probably going to be 80-20. They're going to let them hear it. I wonder, I know you don't like the big time Bex, but I wonder if she's just going to lean into the idea that people are probably going to be booing her and maybe does just lean into the big time thing and just try to come out and and do what she can. You know, I mean, 
we, we we just gave the rock a lot of credit for kind of rolling with it too where the crowd started booing him and he's like well fuck it i'm just gonna go into a heel mode maybe she does that right. just to kind of get through the show i mean that's what a good performer does Ooh. right you got to be able to to adjust to the crowd do we see a double turn here do we see a I, double turn I think wow. like this, honestly, listen, this is bigger this is bigger than than just wrestlemania but i think we've been seeing that happening for weeks with rhea ripley i think yeah. That, mm -hmm. I just saw her on she MMA hour and that. they had the whole pull apart with her and Becky. Uh, I know she's like talking about her daughter and stuff, but I don't even view it as like heel stuff anymore. I don't even, it doesn't, I, I don't think the crowd views her as a heel. I think that, I think Dom is still a heel and I, and there's a lot happening there with Dom that I could talk about <laughs> on another show, but I, I think his time <laughs> at the judgment day is coming up, coming to an end. But well, anyway, yeah. anyway, Cash, well, what, which, Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I cut you off. Uh, I was sorry. just gonna say, no, no, no. I was gonna say real quick, as you know, the day after WrestleMania, that's like the reset for WWE, mm -hmm. a new year, if you will. So yeah. I'm I'm with you on all those storylines, totally could see it happen. I'm sorry. No, no go no. ahead. I was just gonna say, Cash, what 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 are you looking forward to? What match are you looking forward to there? Well, I am with Sarge in that I'm looking forward to Becky Thank versus you. Rhea. I just think this is the money match. This is the match that she talked about wanting when she was on here talking with us. She wanted Rhea Ripley yes. at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. And she she shot her shot right here on this show. So go back and listen to it. And I, I she's ready Available to follow through. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And I think that I don't think she's going to win. But I do think that this match is going to be a banger. I think this could end up stealing the show for for night one. As much as I'm really looking forward to this tag match, I think that could steal the show. That that is officially night one, huh? Yeah, yeah. Triple H oh, put it out last night. Close. It, it won't happen, but it should close night one. It should. I think it's going to open. Now, that'd be yeah. a great open. Too. I think. It's, I think they're moment. gonna. If if you can't close it, I think they're gonna a match like that with that kind of build. They're gonna try to open it. Yeah. I yep. think the Sami Zayn Gunther match is gonna be pretty dang good too, man. Like you, like yeah. don't sleep on that one. I I really do. You know, I think Sami Zayn steps up when he needs to, and Gunther always delivers, man. Always. Mm -hmm. Name a time where he hasn't delivered. Like it's crazy. No, you're yeah. listen, you're right. And none of this is in a way to it, it's funny because it's kind of a plethora of riches, right? This WrestleMania has been built pretty good. All the stories have had pretty adequate time. So I feel like, yeah, maybe some got more than others, but none of them feel necessarily thrown together at the last minute, which right. we've seen in WrestleMania's past when somebody else was in charge of the booking. So I do think that because there's been more stories fleshed out. That I think in general, all of these matches are, are something to look forward to. You feel some level of investment for them. Absolutely. And um, I have to look at it where I think you have to, uh, Gunther, who, you know what, the, he's already came, came past the honky tonk man. That international PLE is in, um, is it Germany? I think the Bash in mm -hmm. Berlin, right? Mm -hmm in yeah. um august so that uh, this is where i could see him retaining retaining the championship and having that be the main event there bash at berlin um kind of like it was years ago SummerSlam 92 mm -hmm. with british bulldog and bret hart for the intercontinental title make that the main event right there where you look at it right now wwe there's so many stars and you don't need to have the stars on every single PLA. So that's an easy one where you could say if Cody's your champion or The Rock or even uh, Roman Reigns, you don't need him on that show. You just build it around Gunther. So well, I, I got him winning that. Well, I, I'm I'm going to say you could also go the other direction with that touch because I like the way you think about that. I don't think about it that way where the upcoming pay-per-views and where they're at. I, it's a great mm -hmm. view. It's a fantastic view, but I could also see Cody Rhodes winning the WWE Championship, and then you have Gunther as the as the the heel in that aspect. And those two had a great match at the Royal Rumble a couple mm -hmm. years ago, where they went yep. on for an extra like 25, 30 minutes after the match, and yes. they put on a great show. I could I could they see did. that being the main event too. So um, you could go either way on that one, but I, I I like your thinking on that. Well, it's just I, from the business standpoint, trying to look at it here. Uh, what's next? And that's why I'm not ruling out the rock potential 
uh, upcomer, upcoming challenger for Cody Rhodes if Cody is to win. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a good, it's a solid point. Now, have, have, have you guys ever been to Philadelphia? Yeah. Never. Yeah, I've been there, I've been there a few times. Yeah. Never. Okay, so it d- doesn't sound like it's on Cash's uh, top of the list with the reaction there. You're not too big uh, No, it. I didn't. So listen, I have, I, have, I have a good friend lives down there. Shout out to John. Yeah. Uh, but okay. listen, uh, oh, John. I, I, I'm just saying, you know, I, I've been down there a few times. It's nice. There's a lot of history there. There's a there's some statue on yeah. top of a building that didn't have a face because they didn't think people could get that high. We were back in the but day, so they just didn't put a face on the statue. But okay, all right. Well, yeah. Well, long story short, I've, all right. Well, I've never been there either. So this is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm breaking the ice on that there with Philly this weekend. But um, I will say this: knowing their sports fan base. Mm-hmm. And um, having been a part of a uh, devastating Super Bowl loss to them, we know about that. Let's, uh, i.e., Malcolm Butler, um, and um, also, you know, knowing how rowdy they are, uh, plus wrestling fans <clears throat> in general, I, I just see them possibly um, rioting if Cody Rhodes does not win against the uh, Roman Reigns. I just, it, it's a, it's a crazy sports town. They, yeah, when wow. Philly was in the Super Bowl, I remember they had to um, wax the the telephone poles so people wouldn't go up there, climb up there for crying out loud. And you know, just I, I could see it happening. Um, so, Villanova Sarge, in the final four. Sarge, you bring up a really good point. Where what is Philadelphia home of? ECW, right? ECW. And when they had when they had one night stand in uh, on WWE, the first one they had, it was it was right back in ECW land. And what was the yep. whole thing? If Cena wins, we riot. So that's a really we good riot. point, Sarge. Mm-hmm. I you know like what that? it would be yeah. quite the turn if they all of a sudden you know went from hating John Cena to then loving Cody Rhodes. But I could see it happening. <laughs> you know they're very wishy washy <laughs> over there. Um, oh yeah. But hey, yeah. you gotta. I think Sarge, you got to. Um, you got to give us a reenactment of the Rocky scene while you're there. I want you sprinting up the steps <laughs> right before WrestleMania. Um, I well, think it'll be yeah. great. <laughs> I got to see if I have time to get up there for uh, the tourist stuff because I get in Friday afternoon going right to the world. And then uh, my go to at WrestleCon on Saturday is mm-hmm. um, Ronda Rousey. Okay, so oh, that'll be interesting. Right oh, yeah. that'll be interesting. Yeah, you got to ask available. the tough questions about WWE. She, it, she's it's been it's be been offering that info out. all week. Big, yeah, oh, she's been ripping everybody. Yeah, but I mean, it's going to be the quick in and out. Hey, how you doing? That's it. I just want to get my stuff signed, and that's it. All right, uh, it's enough. all business when you see them. Yeah, if if it's no one there, a different story. But yeah, you, you know how this stuff works. It's they're in and out. You know, yeah, of course. But yes, they're. Good question, though. No doubt. Yeah. It's, <laughs> she ain't holding back on Vince McMahon. Holy moly. No, not at all. Well, listen, I know you have to, you had a hard stop here, but before we, yes, before yes, we let you go, you. give us, give us your final thoughts before we let you, we let you go here on WrestleMania. Do you want to run down the card one more time? See what do we have, right? Keep score. Want to do it real quick? Let's do it. We'll do it quick. I'll, I'll run it off. You just name who, uh, who you, go. who you think's going to win. All right. So we did the world cham- championship match. We, uh, who, 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 who's winning that one? Rhea or Becky? I'm going to go Rhea Ripley. Mike? I'm going, I'm going Rhea. I'm going, uh, okay. I'm going Becky Lynch. I'm going Becky Lynch. Lone Wolf here. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, uh, baby. All right. Um, Ray, uh, Ray Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. Dom and, Esco- so- and um, Santos. Okay. I think it's Ray and Dragon Lee. I think Ray gets his his revenge win. Yeah, I think it's Ray too. I think it's Ray Ray and Dragon Lee. I think so. All right. Uh, the tag the tag match. You got Awesome Truth, New Catch Republic, New Day, DIY, Grayson Waller, and Austin Theory, or Judgment Day. I'm gonna go Awesome Truth. Ooh, okay. Dark Horse pick. Uh, like I'm that. gonna go. I'm gonna go DIY. I think Gargano okay. and Champ are gonna get their due. All right, I'm going New Catch Republic. I just think they're gonna put on a great show here. So, yeah. uh, Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso, which we haven't even. That's gonna be a good match too. Oh, brother yeah, versus geez. brother. Who do you got, Sarge? Yeet yeet yeet. Give me oh, Jay. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, going Jay. I'm also going Jay. I, I don't think he loses this one. Uh, 
Sami Zayn versus Gunther. I think we talked about it, but give me the pick real quick. You got Gunther, Sarge? Gunther, yes. Mm -hmm. I got Gunther as well. All right, I'm gonna say Gunther, even though I I played devil's advocate earlier. <laughs> <Sammy Zane. laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I love it. Uh, Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, Cargill, uh, and Naomi versus Dakota Kai, uh, Asuka, and Kyrie Zane. You got I'm gonna Sarge? go. Yeah, give me a uh, Cargill. Um, yep. and, Belair uh, and Naomi. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, exactly. Naomi and Belair. Yeah. yeah. Cargill just debuted last week in the ring. You get to keep building her up, and, and they'll do anything to stick it to Tony Khan. So, yeah, Jade Cargill, Naomi and yeah. Bianca Belair win. Uh, I pick the same thing. Bianca, Jade, and Naomi for sure. Clean sweep. I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you. I don't see them losing this one. All right. Uh, yeah. So, we already talked about this one, and uh, Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins versus The Rock and Roman. I think we all agree yeah. that uh, the Rock and Roman are going to win this. Yeah. Is that yeah. Unanimous. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unanimous. All right. Yep. Night two: Logan Paul, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens. Who you got? RKO. All right. Interesting. All right. I'm going Kevin Owens. RKO it up. Really? Mm hmm. Oof. So. That's interesting because there he is a year ago in the main event for the tag team title. And that was the U.S. title. Still a great performer. I'm going to go RKO, though. Randy, uh, come back at the Survivor Series. Nice little push for him here. It was kind of forgotten about with uh, CM Punk's debut. Or, yeah. sorry, re-debut. Um, so, yeah, give me Randy Orton in this one. Oh, this is a tough one. I don't think Logan Paul is going to win. Who's going to win out of those two? I'm also going to say Randy Orton just because uh, he's hot. And I yep. think uh, that he... Uh, coming back from what he came back from, they're going to give him the belt. That's what I think. Um, okay. LA Knight versus AJ Styles. I'm going LA Knight. Sarge, sorry. I just had give to me, step in that one first. Give me LA Knight all day. I'm saying AJ. Uh, I like it. I'm going to contrarian. All right. Uh, Seth Rollins. And remember, versus... remember. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say uh, the next one, we got uh, Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Who you got, Sarge? You know what? His contract is coming up. He's due for a new one. Um, I know McIntyre is due for a new one, and definitely somehow CM Punk is going to play a role here. McIntyre has been tweeting it um, with the emoji thing, saying, oh, even CM Punk gets a uh, emoji. Um, I think Punk's going to cost McIntyre the match. Seth Rollins retains. Ooh, okay. okay. Who you got? He's gonna be doing commentary. That's right. true. Who you got, uh, Cash? Despite that, I still think Drew is on one of the hottest roles of his career. I think he wins. Okay. I all I also believe Drew McIntyre is going to win. He's been doing yeah. some fantastic work. I'm on I'm on your side. Uh all right. What else we got? All right, here? last two. Last two here. Uh women's championship. Philadelphia yeah. Street. Yeah, Bailey. New champ. Bailey. Yeah, Bailey. I think you agree, Cash? Bailey? Yeah, absolutely, Bailey. All right. And then um, the undisputed Universal Championship match, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Who you got, Sarge? I, I Last year I picked Roman. I I thought, you know, the, the swerve there, something with the bloodline. If it's going to be bloodline rules – yeah, they'll do everything in their power to screw Cody again. Uh, but I think you're going to see a surprise there, whether it be from John Cena, Stone Cold Steve Austin, maybe mm -hmm. someone else. Someone's going to go out there this time to help out Cody, and Cody will be your new champion. Yeah, Sarge, I'm with you 100%. It's definitely going to be Cody. It's time to finish it. Yep, story gets finished. Cody Rhodes all day, baby. Cody cry, baby, yeah. full life. <laughs> All right. We, we might not see Roman for another year. So, yeah, this is going to yeah. be it. So, Cody Rhodes. Mm -hmm. And then, do you guys see that, that Philadelphia street fight match? No. That's one oh, we did not have Bob, on the card. Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits versus the Final Testament. That's night two. Oh, that'll be a good one, too. Uh, yeah. Who do you got, Sarge? Who do you got, Sarge? Give me uh, Street Profits and Lashley. All right. I'm going to say Final Testament. I feel like they need some momentum. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. go. All right. I'm gonna 
I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits because Bobby Lashley got screwed last year at WrestleMania. So today he gets his he gets his. <laughs> it's true. He gets his it's win. true. He did. <laughs> yeah. So there I love it. it. All right, there it is. Well, guys. This... Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Of course, Sarge, of course. we appreciate it, and we'll we'll look forward to having you back on after WrestleMania for the review. Absolutely, and uh, Vito, if you want me to uh, bring the belt down to Philly, we can make that happen. Okay. We might have to do that. We'll have to see if she we'll can. Talk. Uh, we can get to her. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> a two day rental. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Awesome, guys. Right. Thank you. Yeah, Sarge, thanks. we'll see you. Right. Thanks for being thanks. on. All right, guys. Enjoy WrestleMania. Hell yeah. Yeah. I still have that Vince voice in my head. WrestleMania. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, trying to get out of my head now with all the crap he's gone through. We'll have Triple H record something new. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Make sure you put those all rips right. out at like a running order. See who gets them all right. We should do that. All we right. Got yeah, it. We will. It. Let's do it. All yeah. right. Bragging rights. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Right. Your ponies. We'll see you, Sarge. Cool. All right. Take it easy. Okay. All right, folks. Thank you, Mike, for being here. We really appreciate it. Uh, Vito, any last thoughts before we uh, we get rolling? I'm excited about it. You know, one thing we didn't talk about, Cash, um, mm -hmm. was, you know, we talk about it every year, how much content comes out at WrestleMania and how much there is to watch, right? Do we have a, we have a stand and deliver this year? Yeah, we have a stand and deliver on Saturday. I think it starts at noon. The main yeah. event uh, was Ilya Dragunov versus Tony D'Angelo. Ooh. I know, I know. Uh, but I think the match everyone's going to be looking to see is Trick Williams versus Carmelo Hayes. Yeah, that's been that's a, right. a good story. They've been building that up, and they they pulled that old SummerSlam 02 move right there, where it was who who attacked Trick, and it was ended up being Melo the whole time, kind of like yeah, the Shawn Michaels Triple H thing. Yeah, so, no, and, and that's good. what we haven't even talked about here. Like, I know. we usually are so invested in NXT at this time. We haven't even, and I think it's a testament to WWE because it, yeah. they've done a great job building this. Like, you've wanted to watch everything else, and, you know, you only have so much time in a day. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so um, I, I, that, that's something else. That's on Friday? Is that correct? No, it's on Saturday. It's the that's same Saturday. day as same WrestleMania. Day. Okay. It, it's just okay. earlier in the day. I think it starts at, like, 11 or noon something like that Ooh, that's a long day that's a long day very long day yeah. very long day i didn't yeah. even get to ask sarge if he was going to go to that or if he was going to go to the hall of fame yeah which is on friday yeah on friday we haven't touched on the hall of fame you know we got paul, paul Heyman going in, in. which uh, the only thing i'll say about the hall of fame mikey cash is that i'm not sure roman reigns the ecw guy or is the guy to induct paul Heyman, but um, yeah. I guess we'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see. Um, very interesting to see. It's not a popular opinion, but I have a feeling a certain uh, next big thing shows up and actually inducts him. I think. I think there's been a lot of movement with that whole legal case where he was like named, but somehow I I think he might end up being the person to induct Heyman. Just saying, it might be Lesnar. That would be very interesting. I'm put it out there. It might be Lesnar. I, I I think people are going to be very upset about it, but you know, yeah. What are people not upset about? So. It's true. It's very true. But yeah, lots lots going on. Um, so you asked me my final thoughts and my opinions. I'm uh, there's a lot to be excited about. I think yeah. we can both say that. Um, you know, WrestleMania the two night piece has been great. I think it allows us to have some more exciting matches and. It spreads them out, right? We're not, even though this is a packed card, I think there's enough time to enjoy each match. And they've done a great job building these storylines. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how it all plays out. Um, and, you know, I think like like Sarge said, we'll we'll post our picks um, and we'll see who, who gets them right, you know? All right. Sounds like a plan. Uh, honestly, I don't have anything else to add to that. It's just a plethora of riches. For us wrestling fans this week and and for the last couple of months with, with the way wrestlemania is built up it's it's a real good testament to them and a good sign of things to come so i'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out on saturday so uh all right guys well that that's it for us we're really glad that everybody joined us keep liking keep subscribing tell your friends about us and uh until next week when we're back on for a 
WrestleMania review episode. Unclear if Sarge will be able to join us for that, but either way, we'll be here uh, providing you our our expert analysis as always. <laughs> uh, well, enjoy WrestleMania and keep on strutting, Jabroni.